Greetings, I'm Eric Vivian and I'm a science teacher at Fairfield Union High School. It's currently my 26th year teaching, 23rd at Fairfield Union. And a little bit about me, I graduated from Ohio State and I currently teach physical science, honors biology one and environmental science. In addition to that, I also coach junior high football and high school wrestling. When I'm not teaching and coaching, I like to read and I also like to collect national parks. If you're taking physical science, make sure you realize this is not physical education. So we will be studying the nature of science, including designing a lab to test gravity. Then we'll learn about uh, how to use the metric system, so lots of measuring for that unit. Then we get into the physics of motion, energy, waves, as much chemistry as possible, and time permitting, we'll even cover a little bit of astronomy. So some things you should know about physical science, we do a lot of labs, and we also end up doing a lot of math, so calculators are recommended. You won't be able to use your cell phones as a calculator in class. So fortunately, you don't need any scientific calculator, just a regular one like the one shown in the picture will do, and you can get those for less than $2 at Walmart. For those of you taking honors biology, uh, we'll be starting off the nature of science as well, including developing a seed germination lab. Then we get into cells and cell processes, which ties into a short ecosystems unit. We'll follow that up with learning about heredity and genetics, how traits are passed on to the next generation. And then we'll learn a little bit about the classification of life and evolution, followed up by a unit on animal diversity. The big thing you need to know right off the bat is we do have an ecosystem project that we complete right before fair break, so start saving up two liter pop bottles for the project. And finally, if you're taking environmental science class, first thing we're going to learn about is what is environmental science, which is a question I didn't know the answer to when I was first told that I would be teaching environmental science about eight years ago. After that, we'll learn a little bit about human populations, biodiversity, ecosystems, extinctions, pollution, natural resources, and kind of a year-long project will be pollinators and how they're important to the ecosystems, and we'll be growing wildflowers in the greenhouse, hopefully planting them outside, giving some of those wildflowers away to people at the Learning Showcase if everything goes better than last spring. So the things you need to know, we are also doing an ecosystems project, so save up those two-liter pop bottles. And also be aware that we will be outside and in the greenhouse quite a bit. So I look forward to the school year. Should be an exciting one, definitely very interesting, but with a little help from Google Classroom and a lot of patience and a good sense of humor, I think it's going to be an excellent year.